and welcome back to the Reapers. So we tried a really cool kind of ground attack type mission today, but the server was playing up and kept getting kicked out and I just got fed up. So we're going to go back to training, cast training, much needed as we found out on Sunday night when we were doing some PvP uh, cast work. So this is cast work, this is close air support, it's basically calling in um, our ground attack guys to attack a particular target with a certain amount of bombs from a certain angle uh, causing as least damage as we can to surrounding structures. That's what today's all about and it's about training ourselves to do it. So the way we're going to do it is a little bit different to normal. We've got three groups, group one, group two, group three, group four. Group, each group has an instructor so that is going to be the guy who is calling in the cast for that particular group. Instructor uh, for group one is going to be a FAC A. That is a guy who calls, organizes and calls any his guys with a, a laser from a flying, uh, from an aeroplane basically. In this case we've got Sly with an A10C, he's kindly asked to do that. Group two is going to have um, a JTAC, so that is a guy who is going to laze in um, uh, bombs and uh, uh, ground attack guys from um, from a Jeep, from a Humvee, from the ground. So the only difference is he's working from the ground. Uh, then there's group three. This is someone who's going to call in CAS, uh, uh, CAS attacks using coordinates. So that's north and east coordinates. Uh, he'll find a target and he'll call in um, planes with coordinates. So that's the, tar that's the instructor that we need that we're missing at the moment. And group four is uh, an instructor who is smoking targets. I know it's not very realistic, but at least we can, it's something we can practice in DTS. So he will be on the ground in a Humvee, smoking targets or smoking near targets, and then calling in his CAS um, directly on that. So all we need to know is we're going to spend about 20 minutes in each group. Uh, the instructors will stay in their group permanently. The flyers will, will swap groups every 20 minutes, group one. Flyers will go on to group two, so we all get a chance to experience everything. When you move to a particular group, um, then uh, we all move to the right, so group one will become group two. And if you go off the end of your group four, you will go back to group one. Uh, when you change group, then choose an aeroplane that is, uh, you can use for that group. So if you're in groups one or two, you need something that can drop GBUs. If you're in group three, you need something that can follow coordinates to a particular target. If you're in group four, you need something that can follow, look for smoke, which is basically anything, obviously. Okay, group one, we're going to take off. Uh, just going to go um, safely. We don't need to do formation. Tender rolling. I think our default code is 1688 according to my kneeboard, but I don't know if that's true. Yeah, that is. Okay, that's good. I've got the same code as you though. Is that what you've got, Sly? 1688 is default, yes. Okay, when you get the first one slide, we'll just go for a straight in attack, drop our bombs. On the second uh, attack, we'll um, have a bit more detail. You'll tell us which angle you want us to attack from, and um, if there's any structures or anything, or no, we can't guard the bomb, can we? So all you can tell us is um, what azimuth you want it to come in for on the second try. Copy. Green have target. Last five of MGRS is one one two six one tank. Uh, negative. Current target is at uh, coordinate Golf Hotel three four two one five one zero eight two three. Type two fifty five elevation three two one feet. I just wanted to make sure we weren't going to hit the same target. Okay, slide. Put a map marker on F ten and then call us in. Firm cat mark on uh, F10. Is Sparkle ready? Sparkle's ready. Okay, Atomic, your job is now to take us towards uh, the map marker on F10, and we're going to all put one bomb down, break into loose trail formation, cap is two. You lead Atomic. Copy that, leading now, turning on to bearing 046. Cleared to move into trail, I'm clear, third in position. Hold up. Tom 
make leveling off now. Target is single tank. Just a little spot. Two zero three seven. Leveling. How far out do I want to drop this thing? Imagine you're dropping a dumb bomb and that's how you want to hit it. So a shallow dive into when you would think a dumb bomb trajectory would work and that's perfect. So I don't really have numbers for you. Two miles, one mile. Copy that. And I just call Sparkle that once I've released. Negative. Uh, the A10 calls Sparkle just to let you know that his laser is going. You just need to drop the bomb and then say Pickle. Roger. Uh, you keep an eye on the bomb um, slide so you can see what we've done right or wrong. Sparkle on. Atomic Pickle. Cat Pickle. Group 1, head bearing 030 to meet up. Uh, tender didn't get a lock on the uh, laser, so it didn't pickle. Right, trim the F5s out. It's like, could you see the bombs? I can't see them for some reason. Negative. It's because um, it must be the F10 options, that's a shame. Never mind. Um, can you see them if they hit? Uh, yeah, I, nothing hit. Okay, so we missed for some reason. Okay. Confirm laser code. 1688. Uh, Atomic, I'm going to take, because uh, I've done this before, I'm going to take um, the lead. I'm going to shoot past your right shoulder now. Copy. Uh, I've kind of fucked this up because I can't, I've disabled F6 mode accidentally, so. Um, Yes, yeah, annoying. Atomic backing off the gas, let you come past. Watch out. Still with us, Tender. Is the laser burnout on? So if I, can I just leave this thing on? No, turn it off. Group 1 turning in. Next bomb selected. Roger. It's basically in the centre of town, so I'm going to pop this one right in the centre of town. You in bad now? Uh, yeah, but I've got a good 12 miles to go, so I've got a good minute. Okay. On your six tender. Copy. Group 1, inbound, 10 miles. Group 1, 4 miles, and diving a sparkle up. Sparkle on. Cap, pickle. Fly, my beauty. Exit due south. Pickle. Right, keep an eye on that target um, instructor. Hey, fun. Looked like your bomb was tracking cap. Sweet. Check. Yeah, that's more like it, boys. Just got to get that drop angle. Check times two. Well done. Atomic, did you drop tender? No, um, I've got to have the proper CCIP, CCRP line, and I've got to have it properly lined up. I'm not just sure it works. Okay, it's guys. The same way we're doing it. I'm going to see if Breen's ready to take us. Breen, are you ready to swap groups? Negative. We're attacking the guy on right now. Copy. Okay, um, Sly. Uh, this time um, we attack the same target, but this time give us an azimuth to attack from. So attack from the south, attack from the west, whatever, and we'll follow that. If 
Sure. Coming up on your right wing, Cap. IP and egress marked. Roger. Okay, uh, I've got your call in, I've got your egress and IP FAC A um, heading to target now. Okay, group one, form loose trail and follow lead to ingress point. Two. Okay. IP marked, heading 253 distance, four miles. Elevation is 387 feet. Target type, mine battle tank. Target location, center of road. Mark by laser, friendlies none. Egress as marked. Received. Okay, lead is turning on to ingress. Copy. We'll be bleeding some speed off to about 300-ish. What out are you to do you instructor? Seventeen. I was just wondering if I need to be below you to catch up the laser when I drop, I'm gonna go lower just in case. Okay, group one is on ingress as desired. Running in three miles. Four miles. Group one diving down for attack. Lead, pickle, egressing as desired. Atomic pickle. Keep an eye on that target instructor. I didn't check Sparkle. Was Sparkle on? That Sparkle wasn't on. You didn't call for it. Oh no! But, um, I turned it on. It might have hooked up afterwards. But I'm guessing not because it's been a little while. Alright, we're heading over to Group 2. Uh, you can take on Merlin. Um, uh, Preen, we're coming over to Group 2. Cap is now switched. Lazy go one five eight eight. Powering up. JTAC Cap is on approaching fifteen miles from the south. Request task. Copy. Uh, Cap fly zero three eight for seven. Report IP inbound. Zero three eight for seven. Copy. Do I still need to fly to balls, Cap? Yeah, near, near there. Roger, I'll report how many by. Cap, IP inbound. A firm, Cap, uh, final attack hitting 303. Be advised, friendly is at 200 meters southeast. Laser on, cleared hot. 303, cleared hot. Pickle. You'll have to track it, Preen, because I can't see on map. Any firm, I can't track it either, because uh, there was a loose laser. One jo okay, just watch that target. Okay. I can hear it. Roger, I'm heading out. Uh, the only thing I didn't understand was where I was supposed to egress to. Is there any stipulation for that? Uh, if I don't say it, just assume uh, the same 
Ingress heading. I, that's my apology. I should have probably told you that, but we didn't really do a check in either or a nine line, so. JTEC, cap, request tasking. Approaching from south. Cap, cap. Cap, fly heading 030 for 10, report IP inbound. 030 for 10, cap. Atomic, F5, 4 GBUs, ready for tasking, approaching from the south. Copy, Atomic. Atomic, fly heading 053 for 8, hold, standby tasking. JTAC, CAP, reached IP. Copy, CAP, final attack heading 03310. Advised friendlies 200 meters southeast, laser code 1588, laser on, cleared hot. Sorry, Preen, you broke up. I, your uh, bearing only had one digit in it. Final attack heading 310. Friendlies 200 meters southeast, laser on. 310 armed, Roger. Preen tender's gonna enter a hold in here until uh, you're ready for tasking for me. Hold with uh, atomic. Cap. Pickle. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Any shack, JTAC? Negative, no shack. We use Sparkle. Cap cleared to re engage. Uh, Sparkle on. Damn, that's annoying. Cap re engage. Sounded like it was off to the, uh, to the right of the target. One four two for eleven hold. One four two eleven hold cap. Tender uh, fly heading three one four for six report IP inbound. Three one four for six. Tender is inbound. Once you're at the point, you say you're at, you're at the uh, at the point. Yep. Yeah, I'm not quite there yet. So once you hit that mark, just uh, report IP inbound, and then I will uh, give you your attack heading friendlies and laser on. Tender IP inbound. Hey, firm tender. Final attack heading three zero nine. Be advised, friendlies, one hundred and ninety meters southeast. Code one five eight eight. Laser on. Cleared hot. Clear top. And up. Ten seconds out. Are you supposed to give him a range tender? Uh, uh, Crane. Pick up. Cat, normally I would give him uh, coordinates, but uh, since mine are in MGRS, uh, it doesn't really matter. Oh, gotcha. Was that a shout, guys? Don't think it's down yet. Negative, it's still going. Are you ready, at Atomic, or are you still in transit? Atomic's ready for tasking. That or negative shack. Really? Never mind, keep going, guys. Keep going. All right, uh, Atomic, you can go next. Um, to say, Bream, you're ready for tasking. Green atomic ready for tasking. Copy atomic 
FY heading 275 for 13. Report IP, uh, report when on station. So you can measure that out on the F10, Tomic. Unfortunately, that's what we're limited to since none of the uh, aircraft have moving maps aside from the A10. Is that 18? Multiple miles. Uh, Tomic updated uh, fly 280 or 14. Copy 280 14. Once you're there, report in and get ready to turn to the new uh, vector. Pre Atomic IP inbound. Copy Atomic. Final attack hitting 309. Be advised, friendlies 200 meters southeast. Laser code 1588, cleared hot. Hey, firm, on task. All you want from that is the bearing of 309. Just fly that way and drop your bombers in five miles time. I'll drop it about three miles time. The target's at five miles, so. Copy. Atomic pickle. Oh shit, didn't pickle. Why didn't it pickle? Atomic pickle. Seems like a no shack. Okay. JTAC, cap request Darcy. Copy, cap. Cap fly 331 for 3. 331 three, 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 for 3, cap. Atomic, when did you release the bomb? What speed were you at? What else? Uh, okay, cool. GP, uh, uh, GPS. Uh, Angels 11, roughly 350 knot. Uh, you guys are way t you can't drop a bomb at Angel's 11. You guys time on the base is not working. Do we need to be lower, you're saying? You, you can't, yep. Yep, be much, much lower. Like, we'll six, see. Angel 6. Roger. Understood. JTAC cap IP inbound. Green have located a uh, whole bunch more targets if needed. Copy, we're just getting the same tank over and over. Uh, cap, final attack uh, copy that. 309. Be advised, friendlies 200 meters southeast, laser code 1588. Cleared half. 309 cleared. Pickle. Top speed, little bomb. I uh, hope I was far enough in. I'm not sure if I was far enough in. Uh, it's not a question of getting far enough in, it's getting the bomb to actually see the uh, laser. GB12, especially for something like an F5, can go upwards of 9 miles if you're doing it uh, toss bombing style. Roger. Atomic on station, requesting task kick. Boom! Cap's got it. Right, Angel 6, that was Atomic 300 knots. Just like I was dropping a normal bomb on the middle of a city, it looked like. Project. Atomic, fly 096 for 10. Actually, correction, Atomic six fly. Ten. Correction, Atomic fly 0647. I want to have you fly all the way out there. 064. Roger. So you can loiter out nice and high, but when you come in for that run, you've got to be angels about sixth for the drop. Don't go any lower. Getting this down now, boys. We're getting it down. You just got to remember that the GBU can only see a laser that's in like the 60 degree cone. Think of it like a radar. Project. Atomic. Fly heading 318 for four. Uh, report IP inbound. 318 for four. Atomic IP inbound. Copy Atomic, final attack heading 
3309, be advised friendly is 200 meters southeast, laser code 1588. Cleared hot, laser on page. 3098. Okay, let's start, uh, let's start getting a chain going here. Uh, Jeta, cap request tasking. Copy, cap fly heading 2544. 254 for 4. Just can't get it going too fast because if I jump out of the uh, actual binoculars menu, I lose laser. Atomic pickle. What height was that? About 5,000 feet. I can hear it. Gap IP inbound. Target. Now we're getting yeah. Cap IP inbound. Cap fly heading it. Cap final attack heading it. 309. Be advised friendly 200 meters southeast. List code 1588. Laser on, cleared hot. 309 cleared. Cap. Atomic egressing along the river. Yeah, so it was the height that we were getting wrong, chaps. That's, now we know that. Yeah, that's cool. So you can't, you can only see so much, so you have to be pointing roughly at the target. Is that where the nose down comes into effect? Yep. Cool beans. The only reason the uh, A-10s can do level bombing is because they have a multi-million dollar computer strapped in to make sure they release at the exact right time so the bomb is pointed down when it's on target. Cap Pickle, hopefully that's uh, far enough in. If you're going 400 knots, it's, once you hit IP inbound, you should be plenty good uh, in terms of distance. Come on, baby, come on, baby, hit, hit, hit. No shark? Um. Negative, no shark. Damn. Okay, never mind. Well done, Breen, that was some good work. Um, groups three and four, do you have a solid instructor still up? Uh, which one, which group? Cap's coming to four. Confirm for three. Uh, however, three is slightly gimped due to the capabilities of the jets. Roger, I don't think Cap can do three. I don't have coordinates, so I'm going four. Cap reporting uh, in for group 135. Is this the smoke group? Cap approaching from the south, 10 miles. Requests uh, smoke and target description and details. Can you hear my music, Cap? Yeah, that's beautiful. That's beautiful music. That's going to keep me bombing straight. Alright, uh, there are two targets. I want to run you to the IP point. It's going to be the dam, which I guess is to the north of you. Uh, if you just follow the big river up, hit the dam, and then once you get there, that's the IP fly heading 190. It's in a small little group of buildings that's not in the main town. Roger. And, uh, I'll smoke them green. Cap en route. Cap IP inbound turning at 190. You sure, Britt? Are you sure? Sorry about that. Turns me right around. going to uh, basically go towards the, the big city and you're going to look slightly to the left in a small little group of buildings and there are two units. One will be smoked with green smoke. Oh, is this the city? Is that Diddy, the big city? Yes, it is just to the left of that. Hold on. Yep, you're on heading 190 and I'll smoke that. Uh, Roger, tally, standby. 
green smoke's on. It's very hard to see. You're going to have to zoom in a lot. You're about 10 miles out. Cap Tully green smoke inbound from the west, I think. It's on the north. Cap off target. Check. Yes, well done, Zoibo. Right, smoking works, JTAC works, and lasing just about works. Yeah, we were having problems spotting the smoke because a lot of people's view distance are turned down and they wouldn't see it until it was about two miles out. Roger, well, the just guidance. Keep that in mind for mission design. Yeah, the guiding in works fine as long as you can guide them to the smoke. Okay, happy with that. Okay, so that was our first attempt at CAS training. Uh, never easy. Uh, so there's, of the three groups, I tried groups one, two, and four. Group four was very easy, that was Roy Berg. So he guided me to an IP point, uh, which was easily visible. Then from that, he gave me a heading, and I followed that heading to um, a smoke, which he then set up smoking. And I could spot it, because it was on my heading, I could spot it really easily. So it was just really easy. Nothing to complain about there. Uh, Zoebeg said other people had problems finding the smoke. But as long as you're on bearing, you just run straight over it. So I don't really see the problems. Any more comments on Group 4? So, yes, I was one of the people who struggled. I flew the hearing bearing exactly. was looking for the smoke. It was always possible to pick out, which wasn't helped by the fact that there were a few green buildings, which at distance just looked almost exactly the same as a tiny green signal smoke oh dear right so that's a case of getting used to what the signal smoke looks like i suppose uh, yes, my, that, my that other options like were orange and red which weren't much better yeah the other problem red. was i was being directed to to the east of a town when the target was east of a village mm. it's american english versus uh english english Okay. I mean, as long as you're as long as you're flying a given heading, though, um, did you group, do group two, Sherman? So it's just like group two. Preen gives you a heading. You just as long as you fly on that heading, it's pretty much. Yes, I followed the he heading multiple times, and because I was searching the general area and I couldn't see the smoke up at whatever it was until the last moment, it took three tries before I could tally the smoke. Roger, fair enough. Okay, well, it's our first training, so um, we'll try again properly on Wednesday. Any more comments on Group 4? The Which smoke, was... The smoking, that's the smoking uh, APAC, whatever it's called. Well, I mean, to be really honest, from something with basic um, systems like the F5, that's almost a mandatory way to do it if you're going to do it that way. Mm, no, because we did GB, did, did, did GBUs, Chairman. Yes, but that's how you deliver the weapon in terms of actually getting a holding point. That's another story. No. Try to do a full functional nine line with um, grids while you're in an F5. And you have to, instead of pulling up a digital display, you have to pull up your map and try and figure out where you are all while your aircraft is moving. Well, that's what we were doing with Breen, and it was fine. We were always within two miles, and the bombs, well, the bombs weren't perfect, but... Okay. Yes, but your IP was clearly invisible as opposed to the yes. ones I'm talking about. Yes, yeah, so there was no visible yeah. IP, but so Preen just said fly five miles, for, sorry, zero three zero five five <laughs> miles to IP, and we just did that. That worked, didn't it, Preen? Yeah. Sherman, we had refined it after you guys left, because clearly what I was using as an actual nine line wasn't working very well. Nobody really knew well, I th here's well. the thing. I think it works fine in a situation where you've got aircraft that have digital maps and typically will have yeah. an IP as a waypoint already. So I think that wasn't really the issue. The issue was the aircraft you were trying to apply it to. I think it worked mm -hmm. fine. We had no problems in our group getting the... Um, we actually had problems hitting the target because of our bad bombing, but we always got 
the bombs in the target area. But we'll have a look on the um, video, see what you think anyway, Sherman. Um, I took a look at the video of your blue team cast from yesterday and it was the comms were atrocious and there was basically very little control over anything. Correct. And what little I caught from the stream at the end I just joined up um if the comms were even worse. Um what about group one anyone? I struggled with group one. But uh the reason was I didn't realise that you could drop bombs too high. Hence why none of our bombs hit. Uh it was where later when we were in group two in preen we found that you had to drop them at 6,000 uh, for them to hit the laser for reasons that we don't really understand. What were you How on earth did you pull that off? Yeah, it's just w what he told us, basically. And so The reason that your bombs don't hit is because they don't track, right? You, the Seeker can only see, I could say, 60, maybe 70 degree cone in front of it. So when it's passing over the target, if the laser is right underneath it it's still straight and level it's never going to find that you need to have it pointing okay. somewhat yes and, uh, that's what i was thinking we tried to do ccrp in f5 we were just bomb. we were dropping them directly over the target at angels 15 and obviously they must have been i'll still have a look on tag view but they were probably just going what are you there. diving from angels 15 yeah was that a dive yeah. Yeah. It, it kind yeah. of but not a very not a very deep dive only about 20 degree dive something well like that. there's your problem roger okay that would uh, be what it is if you get distance from the target, so if you were to pickle, say, two or three miles from the target, or anywhere up to five, then that gives the nose of the weapon time to naturally lower. Right. I think we were just going in too deep, too high to begin with, because as soon as we started going down at Angel 6, suddenly it just started working. It, it's almost as if, like, the angle of your dive somehow made a difference. And, well, we were, we were bombing level most of the time, so it sounds like we should have been diving as well. With you, stuff like the F5 for the Mirage, you always want to be using uh, the GP yeah. even a dive. The reason, that, the reason the A10s can do level bombing is because they have a multi-million dollar computer that calculates where the bomb's going to be, when it's going to hit, and where to drop it at. Uh, right, so I've got to be in a dive to get that cone of the of the bomb on. Right, yes. whoopsie. Think of it like the F15 radar picking right, up a laser. I see, I didn't know that was a thing. I thought it was omni omnidirectional. Okay, well that's a lesson learned. We'll get that... Omnisentient. Sorry. We'll get that sorted on Wednesday. Okay, so this, and Group 1, yeah, so that's that's the problem we had with Group 1. We just couldn't pick up the laser, could we, Sly? The laser was there, but we just... Yeah, um, we just yeah. which group was Group 1? Uh, group 1 was Sly, uh, well, that was the A, that was the FAC A. Um, yeah, and it was there, we got called in, but the bombs just... God, we couldn't, could have got some my stupid settings. We got, two, we got three on target. Oh, did we? Oh, I can't remember, fucking, I've just dropped We got three on target on the first run. Roger. So the first and second round, I can't remember. No, but we weren't very reliable, so at least we know what's going on there. Okay, fine. Anyone have anyone have other comments on the uh, A fac, fac A, which was Sly Sly in the plane? Cool. Uh, the only other thing is Mousy's group. Did anyone was anyone try Mousy's group? I did. Yes. Yeah. What, no. what was the score? It doesn't really work with a lot of things because we were trying to do it purely coordinate based. Uh, the problem is, it's the only aircraft in game currently that's got the capability of entering those coordinates is the A10. The Harrier can do it via a very, very dodgy process, but it's not easy mm -hmm. at all. Couldn't Grinkle, you are in Yeah, course. so. Can do so it. when I did it, Figgin can enter coordinates, uh, Mirage uh, can enter coordinates, KF50 can enter coordinates. All uh, right, so we can go from uh, we can try Group Three again then on Wednesday with the Mirage and the and the Vigan and see if we can <laughs> well, properly. Let me tell you of my experience of doing it in the Year Five. It basically became a process of okay, okay write down the IP coordinates, <laughs> write down the target coordinates and relative heading and range, then go onto the map while you have one GPU on the right wing and no GPUs on the left wing. Mm. Try and read the map while not spinning out of control for about 15 minutes until what? you eventually got within a 25 mile approximate mm. radius of no, where the target should yeah, be. Yeah, you can't do that. It's got to be automated. There's no looking on any map. It's got to be punch like in the VIG and punch it into the VIG and it just does, does it all for you. Um, the, re the reality is with 60s era aircraft, you need a much more the simple process that is uh, talk on based. It's, it's a visual approach and talk on, isn't it? You can't you can't punch coordinates in. So no. Well, we can have a fifth group if you like that is visual, 
uh, that is, I mean, that's kind of the smoke guy, really, isn't it? But we can have a. Oh, well, that's what I was going to say. Is that that is essentially the smoke guy. The main mm. difference is, is that an old method. IP. An old method for finding targets in aircraft that do not have coordinates available is to use radials and DME to find a location. It's not easy, and I don't expect Rim Reapers to be able to do it. But it's how they did it back then. Mm. At some case. Okay. All right. Well, we'll have another shot at it on Wednesday. We'll get some more people so we've got some more ideas flowing and uh, have a look uh, at the vi video when I put it up so we can see all the things that went wrong as well Did you have anyone teaching how a 9-line works and how Jenkins work? Negative uh, uh, just basically He taught me quite extensively rest. when we were with him I was what? taking what I learned from I can't remember his name from the other night who was teaching us so what I'd suggest is we're all trying to learn too much too soon. We need to have a real basic mission where you can actually see the targets and everyone, you know, everyone can see the targets all nice and flat. Everyone knows where everything is. And then we practice going through the comms, the nine line, positioning the aircraft, calling in, doing the checks, and doing all that stuff. The bombing mm. part and the lasing stuff comes like later on once you know how to do all of that stuff. I that and everybody needs to have a pen and paper mandatory. Oh, yeah. Nice. Everyone needs to have pen and paper, mandatory. People need a, let's call it a lecture, before you the training starts. So people are on the same page. They know it, roughly, anyway, what to expect and what they need to be uh, providing for the FACA or JTAG. And it it showed, like, no, if I, I don't expect Sherman to be an absolute perfectionist, but when I called Sherman on and the best I could, I'm not perfect with the nine line. It it showed that we really didn't know what was yes. going on when it came to the nine line because every time I'd give him like the game plan or the check in, I'd have so, to explain everything else. So that mm -hmm. raises a question: Why host a training session where you guys are training with incorrect techniques? I'll, I'll give Sherman his due. When he joined Group Three, Mousy read him a nine line, and although he wasn't really able to actually effectively attack the target because of his airframe. He did point it out on the map and drop a bomb in its general vicinity. Roger, so we need to go through um, the, the format then, is that right? Yes, absolutely. Cool, okay, that's fine. We can do that on Wednesday then, and we can just go through, we don't even really need to be in DCS, we can just go through uh, just a pretty picture and um, do lots of verbal practicing and stuff like that, I suppose what you oh, all right so having a mission would be perfect because one half of my line is able to produce one and understand it second half is actually executing it as instructed so for example when a jtac tells you you need to make your final attack in 270 through 290 you need to be able to follow that instruction and from what I've seen is if you guys are given a certain attack heading, it's kind of a 30% odd that the guy actually follows that heading and instead just does something else. Entirely. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm saying about making it simple. So you like, use the cross field air, you know, use the cross runways airfield, stick some targets on it, stick a JTAG yeah. on it, get people to fly those headings so they can see, like, how the words that they're translating lines up with how they need to position their aircraft and do the runs. I mean, nine times out of ten, most people aren't doing any 90 degree turn ins or anything. Cool. Sounds good. Nice and easy. All right, it's late anyway, so we'll start again on Wednesday and uh, see if we can get something better sorted then. All right, I'm going to head off. I'll see you guys later.